Hello everybody, this is uh, Itsu with a uh, short uh, update uh, video. I was working uh, closely to get a bit, uh, a bit of herpes, getting my uh, main uh, uh, oscillator going. I had a lot of problems with a lot of spikes with them on the MOSFET drain. Spikes up till 350 volts. Very nasty. We tried several schemes but uh, the solution was with his latest design which he uh, published uh, yesterday I think which is this uh, double wound uh, primary and uh, this uh, works uh, very well um, <coughs> I still have my joke ferrite I wound it with this double uh, speaker wire, transparent, transparent speaker wire. You have to sort out uh, all the uh, connections, but uh, it's uh, doable. And uh, <coughs> then I have a very nice uh, uh, output from the MOSFETs feeding the both primaries. Um, this has led me to uh, an output on the secondaries because I have uh, 20 turns both primaries and I have 200 turns uh, secondaries. I have about uh, 800 volt square wave now on the uh, on the both secondaries, but uh, that can be uh, maintained later to uh, be decreased somehow. Um, I hooked up the main coil as well, like it says on this diagram. So the both secondaries, one side goes to a bridge rectifier and to some alcos to get the 150 volts or 200 volts and the other one goes uh, to ground and the other one goes to the L1 coil which together with the L2 coil in resonance will make a nice sine wave hopefully. So I hooked up my secondary to the L1 coil and I have my red probe across it and I have the yellow probe across the L2 coil which now is uh, in resonance uh, of about 4.2 kilohertz with this one nanofarad capacitor. On the other secondary I have this uh, uh, ultra fast uh, 4007 diode bridge going to some uh, magnetron microwave oven uh, capacitors too in uh, parallel so I have something like uh, 2.4 microfarad. And I have my uh, voltmeter hooked up of it. So I want to show you the output on the L1 coil and the L2 coil and later on I will move uh, the probe to the L4 coil to show you what I have there. I will now connect <coughs> the 12 volts. We are pulling uh, almost 5 amps. This is the voltage on the uh, caps, 870 volts, way too much I know but uh, for the time being. And these are the uh, signals on the uh, on the L1 coil, the red probe and the L2 coil which is the resonant coil. So I have here 350 volts and the frequency you can see is 4.2. You can hear the squealing of the uh, transformer. This is the secondary, the L2 coil. It's in resonance at uh, giving 250 volts. I can tune the frequency of the TL494 to have this uh, L2 coil in resonance. On the, I'm lowering now and you see it goes out of resonance, going up and goes out of resonance. So this is the, the peak. On this 4 0.2 kilohertz where it resonates the L2 coil. Perhaps I need to increase it 
So I have to take another value, perhaps 800 nanofarad or something. But that's the way things are working now. Um, the next thing I will uh, take a look at is the uh, output on the uh, L4 coil. L4 coil is grounded together with the L1 coil at one side, like it's here. So I'll take some measurement on the L4 uh, coil now. Okay, the yellow probe is on the uh, L4 coil and on the ground side here. So I will now connect the uh, 12 volts again. You can see I still have the uh, L1 coil at uh, 350 volts. The L4 coil is less voltage. I have to crank it up a little bit and you can see it's uh, 42 volts at the same frequency. I will now tune again the uh, the frequency of the TL494 and you can also see that it goes with the resonance frequency of the L2 coil. So this is the maximum I can pick at the moment. So this is where I am uh, at, at the moment. Uh, I think I have to decrease the the, the voltage on the secondary because the 800 volt is way too much and uh, <coughs> that will have some influence also on the uh, output of the L4 coil I'm sure. And the next thing will be to pulse uh, the coaxial cable but that will be in uh, the next topic. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay, finally what did I do? Um, I also hooked up my uh, flyback uh, via a spark gap to uh, the coaxial cable to mimic the uh, pulses, pulses, the nano pulses. Don't think that will be nano pulses, but uh, to mimic some what happens when uh, I pulse the uh, coaxial cable. I can uh, vary the uh, the flyback with my function generator. We are at 63 kilohertz at the moment. And I'm measuring on the yellow probe, uh, with the yellow probe, the L4, the output coil. So we are peaking now at uh, the sine wave uh, 102 volts. Well, it's 52, I guess, but uh, I have some nasty spikes there going by. But you can see uh, the peaks on top of the uh, sine wave of the L1. I can vary now the frequency of the flyback. And somewhere there, there should be perhaps a frequency with combined with the other frequencies. There's some magic, but uh, I guess I have to be uh, more uh, uh, concentrating on the nano pulse um, circuit. Anyway, this is uh, what's happening when you pulse with high voltage in a form of flyback. This. Uh, this complete uh, L4 coil. Okay, thank you for watching.